So what exactly is a coordinate covalent bond? A coordinate covalent bond is a covalent bond that's formed where one atom donates both electrons to make that bond. It donates a pair of electrons. So let me give an example of what is not a coordinate covalent bond. So let's say if we have two bromine atoms, each contains seven valence electrons. And let's see what type of bond is formed. When two bromine atoms get together, they will both donate only one electron to form a bond between them. Now, because the electrons are being shared, it's a covalent bond. However, because each element, or each atom rather, donated only one electron, it's not a coordinate covalent bond. It's simply a covalent bond. Now, let's say if we have a Lewis base, in this case, an H3, and we're going to react it with a Lewis acid. And the Lewis acid I'm going to use is going to be BF3, boron trifluoride. Now, a Lewis base is an electron pair donor, and a Lewis acid is an electron pair acceptor. So ammonia can donate a pair of electrons to form a bond between nitrogen and boron. And so we're going to get a product that looks like this. Now, this particular bond between nitrogen and boron is a coordinate covalent bond because the two electrons in this bond came from only one atom, and that makes it a coordinate covalent bond. Now, the reason why nitrogen attacks boron is because nitrogen has a partial negative charge. It's more electronegative than hydrogen, and boron has a partial positive charge. And so there is an electrostatic force of attraction that accelerate these two elements toward each other. And so they react with each other. Now, the next example is a metal ligand example. So I'm going to use ammonia again. It has a lone pair and it still has a partial negative charge. And I'm going to react it with Ag+, the silver cation. So nitrogen, with its partial negative charge, is going to be attracted to silver because it has a positive charge. Opposite charges attract. And so once again, nitrogen is going to donate a pair of electrons. It's acting as a Lewis base. Silver is still the Lewis acid. But in this example, we have a metal uh, ligand interaction. And so you can draw the product like this if you want to. Or you can write it as Ag and H3+. So this bond is a coordinate covalent bond. Now another ammonia molecule can interact with Ag again, forming this product. So this is known as a complex ion. It's an ion, a metal ion that has ligands. The NH3 is the ligand that's attached to the metal ion. So in this complex ion, we have a coordination number of two. And so that's it for this video. So remember, a coordinate covalent bond is a covalent bond where the bond is formed as a result of one atom donating a pair of electrons or both electrons to make that bond. And anytime you have a Lewis acid, Lewis base interaction, or if you have a metal ligand interaction, the bonds that form as a result of those interactions is considered a coordinate covalent bond, as the two examples that we've went over in this video illustrate. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.